Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on how to get rid of the stuttering in Battlefield 4. If you're running Windows 7, 6, 4, 32, uh, pretty much any architecture uh, or CPU that has multiple cores, this should fix your stuttering problem. Um, I noticed that after upgrading my graphics card's driver to the latest version, which seemed to have fixed uh, quite a bit of stuttering, I was still getting like a micro stutter that I could not resolve. Uh, my specs will be in the description, and here's how you pretty much tell. Go ahead and open up your console. You can either press B on your keyboard or the tilde key. Type in perf overlay draw graph 1 and as you can see I'm pretty much in the red but my CPU is bouncing all around and as I'm running through the map you can see right there was a huge stutter and this makes it pretty much impossible to snipe um, you can see that uh, my CPU is pretty much bouncing up and down and all around and it's pretty much spiking at points. Uh, my GPU is pretty much stable as much as it's going to be uh, with the current driver set, but just going to continue running through the map here so you can see like higher spikes in the CPU delay. And there's a simple fix for this that has been around since about 2009. Um, to fix the way Windows 7 um, handles uh, your CPU cores when they're not in use. Um, normally the way Windows 7 works is when your cores are not in use, it tries like turning them off um, from what I can understand or disabling them, uh, I guess to save energy, but that has a huge factor in Battlefield 4 um, from what I have understood. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to switch over to my desktop to show you what I mean. Alright, now we're on my desktop here. Um, you're going to go ahead and open up the registry edit. You can type this in either here or you can just go ahead and open up the run command and open it. Uh, you will need to be an administrator on your computer to do this and then you're going to search, find, uncheck these two, normally they'll be checked, and type in this string here. Um, it will also be in the description uh, for the video if you need to do this and what this will do is tell Windows to always keep your cores enabled and don't try to disable them while you're playing a game or um, just sitting idle. Uh, if you're on a laptop I wouldn't recommend this but who should be gaming on a laptop anyway. Um, so you're going to go ahead and search through your registry for it. There's going to be two to three keys that you'll have to change in this. Um, so, uh, as you see, it's come up. And you see here, for unparked in packages here, uh, the value max is 100% currently. We switch it over here. Uh, to decimal, you'll be able to see that. You want to go ahead and set the value max to zero. So it will stop um, setting your cores to disable when you need to. Um, go ahead and hit find next or F3 and you see there's another registry key here. Change that to zero. And go ahead and search again. This one is already zero. Pretty much search through until it finishes. After this you're going to want to close your registry editor um, and then shut down your computer. Do a cold restart which means shut it down, wait for it to power off and then push the power back on um, to restart your computer. If you do a warm restart, the changes may not take effect. Um, so I just recommend doing a cold shutdown restart here. Um, I will continue the video after I restart. Alright, after restarting, we're back on the battlefield, so we're going to go ahead and open up the same overlay.
And we see here that there are no huge spikes until we load into a different part of the level, but they aren't shooting like off the graph. So overall this pretty much alleviates all the stuttering problems that we had. We see that um, pretty much a lot of our issues are going away. The GPU and CPU are now sharing more of the work to uh, load together and we overall have smoother gameplay. Um, I have not stuttered once um, since I've done this fix and pretty much it works pretty pretty nicely. I can finally be able to swipe shot and other things that people in Battlefield do. Um, there's no like off the wall like beyond limits of the charts um, another thing you can do is if you type in game time max variable FPS 75, seems to be a sweet spot for that, um, you'll see that your CPU graph will start the level off at a certain point. This also helps, um, this allows me to record still at 60 FPS while having a small buffer but not making the game use more of my CPU and then less. It pretty much holds constant across the board. Um, if that doesn't help your stuttering, I would definitely recommend checking, possibly updating your drivers for your graphics card, whichever that may be, NVIDIA or AMD. Um, Make sure you have the latest graphics drivers. Make sure you have your latest uh, CPU chipset drivers as well, um, because that helps quite a lot. And pretty much locking in your frame rate at 75 also helps quite a bit. Um, pretty much that's the end of the tutorial, and I hope it helps many people. Have a nice day.